Hi, this is Carl Stedner. And I'm Cynthia James. And Carl, I was wondering, how do we bring more healthy relationships into our lives? Well, I like to start with the famous quote that Gandhi said, which is, be the change you want to see. And how that applies to relationships. Um, I want to talk about my first marriage and the breakup, because it was very poignant. It was one of the most painful experiences of my life and one of the most powerful. I arrived home from uh, Thanksgiving out with family uh, to greet my wife at home and within two hours she was gone. She said, I don't want to be married any longer and she was out the door and I was devastated. And I stayed in that place of devastation for a while. Uh, I didn't know how to pull out of it and then eventually I made the choice to see that experience as one that I could grow from, that I could really learn from. What were the lessons that I could learn here? And because I was willing to be open and be in the inquiry and see it as an opportunity, even though it was so painful, it really helped to be one of the most insightful experiences of my life and to navigate me into really a commitment, a much deeper understanding of wisdom that in relationships, especially intimate ones, we must tell the truth. And I, re I realized that there were areas that I wasn't fully telling the truth with her. And if you don't, it's just going to bite you later. Mm -hmm. It's going to come back. So even when it's uncomfortable, we need to go deeper in our courage, in our trust, mm -hmm. that we can be open and from a compassionate and vulnerable place, really share what it is that we've learned and what we're, what we're afraid of and, and what we need. Very, very, very essential. Well, and you know, there's so many people that think they need to find out how to be lucky in love. And I really don't think luck has anything to do with it. I, I really, it's, it's like, stop looking for someone and start being who you came here to be. Start being uh, who you uh, are, are great at authentic and powerful and dynamic and mighty in your own expression and then you can move away from self judgments and judgments of others and you get to uh, I love what you said about not being so fearful you know because I've had my own experiences in relationships and and most of what I didn't do was what you said was tell the truth because I was a chameleon and I thought that what I, if I changed up enough and I became the right person for this for this uh, individual, then it would be okay and the relationship would last. And then what I found with you is, is that by being myself, that was the great gift. Yes. And it's not always easy. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you might say something that tweaks me or that I feel challenged by, but because of my learnings, I have a greater courage now to rest in that and to not feel threatened and to be open and to really recognize, well, what is the gift here? What is there for me to really learn? What, going deeper in your perspective and learning how to best communicate what my needs are and thus to be able to find that bridge. I don't know. I always see myself as submissive and, and. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's totally who you are. <laughs> you know, so, you know, I, I guess the, the thing here is, is that health starts within. A healthy relationship begins in here, a relationship with myself, and then it goes out to have a relationship with others. And so, you know, I guess what I want to say to the audience is that you have an opportunity in the moment to step within and find out who you are, what you like, what you need, what you want, and then bring that to the planet, and that will attract anybody into your life, whether it's a love relationship or whether it's in, in a job or with a familial relationships, it will bring that into a powerful place. Connect with us at yourtango.com slash experts slash Cynthia James. Visit us online at bridgingthegendergap.net.